Hello, this show video is going to be looking at Lewis dot structures. So if we take period two, remember periods go horizontally across the periodic table. There are eight members of period two. The reason why we didn't use period one, there's only two members, so it doesn't represent uh, other periods. The reason why we're not going to look at periods three through seven is that they all follow each other. So once you know period two, you know all the other periods because anything in group one or other periods underneath group one are the same. Anything under group two in other periods are the same. Lewis dots are valence electrons. So for group one elements, so the alkali metal elements, we write one dot. Typically you'd write it on the right here and that represents one valence electron. So elements in group one um, are in group one because they have one valence electron. Elements in group two have two valence electrons and that's why they're in group two. Elements in group, now this is not group three, it's group 13 because we have to go across the D block. So group 13 have three dots, so we draw them like this, kind of like the points on a, um, a triangle, if you like. And then group 14 has four dots. So top, bottom, left and right. So we've got the first four dots, so anything underneath lithium would be the same dot structure as lithium, etc. To do the final four members of period two, let's start with group uh, 18. So in group 18, or the noble gases, we have eight dots, which is four pairs of dots, top, bottom, left and right. So two at the top, two at the bottom, two at the left, and two at the right. So any member of the noble gases, any group 18 element, has eight valence electrons. With the exception of helium, but um, we already said that we're not going to start with period one. Group 17, all the halogens, has one valence electron fewer. So we start by drawing 8, as we have with group 18, and now we take one away. So there's no rule that says which you take away, so I'm arbitrarily going to take this away. To remember that I took one away, I'm going to draw a box, and I've drawn the box as empty, so that reminds me that Potentially, I can accept an extra dot into this box. To do oxygen or anything in group 16, I'll draw my eight dots. Now, I already have a box from here. Now, I'm going to generate a second box. There's no rule that says where you have to take the electron away from. So I'm going to draw it here. Notice that we are disrupting a single member of a pair rather than just taking a whole pair of electrons away. So here I have six valence electrons, six dots, and I've got two vacancies or two boxes. And then to complete the set, let's draw group 15, nitrogen. I've got my two remaining boxes from the previous element. Now I've got to take an extra electron away because I only want five total. So I'm going to take this one away and replace it with a box. So to repeat, these are period two Lewis dot structures. Anything in group 18 is going to be the same as this. Anything in group 17 is the same as here. So by looking at one period, we can gain access to all the periods because they all follow a similar pattern. Going from left to right, we have one valence electron. 
two valence electrons, three valence electrons, four valence electrons, five valence electrons with three boxes, six valence electrons with two boxes, seven valence electrons with one box, eight valence electrons with no boxes. There's one slight amendment I'd make. I would go ahead for reasons that will become clear in a subsequent video. I'm going to add four boxes to carbon. And that will complete this video.